This is the extended version of what are my person's intentions towards me and is this my person? Hello, I'm Avalon Kisby. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I do try and add a little bit more value and an explanation to the very short TikToks that I get to do. So today we are going to be using three, possibly four different decks. The decks that we're going to be using today are we have my Ask the Tarot, which is where the questions are coming from. We have my brand new Oracle of Avalon um, deck. And we are going to be using the Star Tarot, which is an exquisite tarot deck to be using. Thank you so much for all the support yesterday in um, purchasing this brand new deck. The first of those orders should be going out. Some of them are going out today. And then over the next few days, there is only a very limited amount of these at this time. Um, there was more that were ordered, but there's the majority of the boxes are still stuck in customs and have been there since the beginning of December. So no news on when they are going to be showing. OK, let's have a look at this again. I say this every day that this is a beautiful reading and that's because for this collective, beautiful things are happening. What can I say? So the first cards that came out in regards to what are your person's intentions and is this my per is this my person? We have obsession, enlightenment and wisdom. The person that you maybe have on your mind maybe is on your mind very frequently and you absolutely are on their mind. They cannot get you off of their mind here with this obsession card, okay? Like it says here, it dominates their thoughts and you may find that it does for you too. Although for many in this collective, we are shifting a little bit past that is what I'm finding, but they still might be in this, this energy. The enlightenment card. If we look, we have the symbolism of the Triscuit here, which has many, many meanings. Um, but one of them is body, mind and spirit and coming into a, a alignment with those. Also with the enlightenment card, for many of this, re for many that I am doing this reading for, you will associate with perhaps being a twin flame or a high level soulmate. And with that, there does come much enlightenment and growth. The next card, we have the wisdom. And on it, we see the illustration of a very old oak leaf. And this reminds me of how long it takes. It takes decades for oak trees to grow. And then they last for centuries. This connection feels like a very, very old soul connection that maybe has lasted through eternal lifetimes. The cards that we pulled here were the Seven of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Sun card, and the World card. The person that we are talking about, as I mentioned before, is a high level either soulmate or divine counterpart. These are two who have done so much work on themselves. If we look at the illustration on this card, we can see that they are each holding their own cup and their own cup is overfilling. This is the self-love that they have achieved for themselves. And yet, when the two of them share this combined love, it encompasses everything. This is such a beautiful picture. If we look at their eyes, they cannot take their eyes off of each other. They're, they really are quite mesmerized and yes, I would even use the word obsessed with each other, but in a healthy way. The flower here, symbolic of everlasting love and a resurrection of love as well. At night time, these flowers, they close at night and then they open up again in the morning, which is why they're known as the flower of resurrection. Again, this may be someone that you have lived a past lifetime with and in this lifetime, it is opening and blossoming up for you now. We have the two beautiful dolphins, which 
to me are very symbolic of soulmates and you can see there's this beautiful playful energy that is about them very natural feeling to this card we then move on to the seven of wands you can see the conviction that this person has the conviction and the and the manifestation that is coming about this might be something that you have been very persistent in and persistent of your mindset with this beautiful card. I should have answered the question a little bit more here as what are your person's intentions towards you? It very much goes hand in hand with what I had mentioned in the Triscuit before and the symbolism of body, mind and spirit. That is what they want to offer you. They want to offer you everything that they are and everything that they have. That is their intention. And the both of you will move forward with conviction in this, with great strength. You're very protected. You see the ring around them, or right around him, very protected. And there feels like there is a passion that is brewing. If we look at this little trail going up the body from, from the ground, right up to the heart and then out through the other way. Every part of you, every cell in your body knows what this connection is. There is soul recognition and we see all of the stars. It may feel like it has been written in the stars. We then have the sun card and the world card, two major arcana. And if we look at them, both of them have the symbolism of the butterflies on there, which is talking about um, transformation. And this type of soul connection will always transform. As I've mentioned in my other videos, one of the reasons for these soul connections is to help you to become the best possible version, the most beautiful version of yourself. There is balance with this, the yin and the yang, and I often do see the sun card as the divine masculine energy. And certainly within this deck, the world card feels to be more of a feminine energy. If we look here, it almost feels like she is in the womb. She's in the cosmic womb and holding, holding something that she is going to birth, this new reality that she is going to birth. This birthing process might feel like, well, quite uncomfortable at times, but it is how you are birthing your idea of heaven on earth. Their intentions towards you also might be having have something to do with a home. We see the little nest here and the little eggs in the basket, okay? So something to do with collaboration, with home, with family. We also see that there are swan wings around her and those swan wings are very protective highly, highly protective. If you've ever watched an angry swan um, beat their wings, they have the strength that can, can break a man's leg, you know, just, just from one swing of their, of their wings. Very protective and notice the little hummingbirds here too. I know for some of you the hummingbirds are very symbolic. Again, this may have taken a while. If we look at all the little turtles here, this may have felt like it's taken an age to come to you, but here you are at this beautiful stage right now. It's beautiful. Spirit, what else ought we to know? What closing words can I have for this collective, please, on the dynamic of this relationship? We've got bottom of the deck, mirrored soul. This is gorgeous. This is a mirrored soul. And you see we have the oak leaves again. Ones that have been together for many, many lifetimes. Two little acorns. Again, they carry such wisdom, the oak trees. They're very, um, oh gosh, elemental. Very much to do with like the elemental realm. It's gorgeous. Okay. So also with this mirrored soul, it's, it's um, a useful tool to remember that what you are thinking, they are also thinking. You could even incorporate something called mirror work. 
Um, maybe I'll talk about that another time, or you could perhaps look it up on um, TikTok if that's something that you would like. A very, very effective tool on how to call in the highest alignment and your highest timeline for the both of you. Ah, underneath prediction, you may already have the sixth sense um, about this beautiful dynamic. We have the self-awareness card and we also have the wholesome card. This is a very, very healing dynamic between the two of you. And again, we see the Triscuit, the body, mind and spirit. The gift that you have together will also bless many and heal many around you. The type of love that you have is not ordinary and it is certainly the type of love that others aspire to have. The last card we'll look at today is this self-awareness card. Having a knowledge of self, truly believing in yourself and understanding that what is happening in your lifetime right now is a reflection of all of that you are. Everything that you have achieved from this lifetime and other lifetimes are coming together at this point in time is what it feels like. Thank you again so much for being here. I do invite you to subscribe to my channel if this is something that you enjoy. I do try and add to here regularly. Sending each of you so much love. Do take care for now. Bye-bye.